Hey, what's going on, y'all? So in this video, I'm going to be giving y'all some tips and tricks whenever you're working with the Move AI system. Now, as far as I know, a lot of y'all here on the channel got approved for the beta testing, so that's pretty good. So what I'll do right now is just kind of go over some tips and tricks that I can give you all whenever you're processing Move AI. So I just did a small session today, so I can kind of walk you through this and give you all some tips along the way. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is create a calibration profile. So to do that, I'm just going to click on calibration right here. And I'm going to select all the calibration takes that I have, which I only took one. So I have one in the camera one, camera two, and then camera three, and then camera four. All right. So what I'll do now is I'll go to the first calibration take one, and we're going to be looking for a couple of things. I want to know when the first clapper hits and the last clapper hits. Additionally, when does my take start? And when does it end? So usually what I do is I have a notepad on the side to kind of write this thing down. But if you have a good memory, you can just kind of do it. So I'm going to press play right here. And you're going to see that I'm kind of behind. So I bought a clapper. That's probably the first tip that I'm going to give you all. Buy a clapper. Because whenever you're outdoors, you're going to need it. Okay. And additionally, whenever you're clapping, make sure you're doing it over your head. Because what you're doing is you're creating a sync audio for all of your cameras again buy a clapper and make sure you're clapping on top of your head so all your cameras around you can hear it all at the same time that's the whole point of syncing right so here we go we're gonna see we got three seconds here okay so that's the first one i can actually see that visually so four seconds let's go make sure of that there you go four seconds is the first one five seconds is the last one so four to five seconds and what i'll do is i'll look for my y post because this is the calibration and i'm going to let myself settle whenever i'm doing this i usually just kind of chill for a second and then start so right now i'm at 11 seconds so my first clap is four last clap is five 11 seconds is when the calibration is going to start and then what i'll do is i'll scrub through it and take a look at our last time right here again i kind of just sit there and chill so 45 seconds is when I want the calibration to stop. Okay, so that is very important when you're calibrating, you wanna go into a Y pose. Okay, so now that we have all that information, let's go ahead and press save. Yes, these are all the calibration, and I'm just gonna say 3 December, which is today's date. So I already have a profile set up. I'm just gonna go ahead and select me 1.6, doesn't matter, 1.6 to make myself look a little bit taller, it's fine. So here we go, first clap time is gonna be zero minutes, 0 4 seconds last clap is going to be 0 minutes 0 5 seconds and the calibration start time is going to be 0 minutes 11 seconds and then 0 minutes 45 seconds voila that's pretty much the calibration and what i'll do is i'll go ahead and say save and run and this is going to do its thing it's going to send me an email whenever it's done it's going to be nice and sweet so while we're waiting for that calibration to finish, I'm going to go ahead and talk about my next tip for you all, and that is clothing. So in the Move AI website, and if I go to documentations, they actually have a pretty good explanation on what not to wear and what to wear in here. So I'm going to go to the left side right here. You're going to see in shoot prep, there is a clothing advice, all right? So here we go. Clothes to avoid. Make sure you're avoiding wearing all black as much as possible because this is using imagery so it needs to be able to determine and separate you from the background first of all additionally it's it needs to determine your body parts so as you can see right here avoid wearing baggy clothes avoid wearing clothes that are similar colors to the surroundings so that means if you are in a green area like grass and trees don't wear something green. Go the opposite way, which is blue. So only makes sense, right? Uh, where possible, wear a top that contrasts your bottoms. Again, whenever you see me doing my Move AI stuff, I'm usually wearing a bright orange shorts all the time and then something else on the top. So make sure they're contrasting. Additionally, wearing long sleeve shirts, I found that it's not actually a good idea, as you can see right here, because it's, it's actually covering your wrist area and your hand area. So if I can help it, I'm going to be wearing a t-shirt. Okay. So again, this is some pretty good information right here. And again, if you haven't been in the Move AI documentations, go ahead and check it out because they have some pretty good darn information in here.
So if you remember a couple of months ago, I talked about how I was not able to directly import Move AI to iClone. Well, I reached out to Relusion and I reached out to Move AI and I kind of got him talking. And now if you look at the bottom left corner of this, you're going to see that you can now use Move AI data straight into iClone, which is pretty darn sweet. So again, if you click on this character creator for right here, it's going to give you the instruction on how to do this. So with that being said, let's go ahead and check this out real quick while we're waiting for the calibration. Okay, so here is the FBX that they're now dragging and dropping. And it's pretty similar to my XSense profile that I gave you all. You're just going to click on the open, and you're just going to go ahead and choose that 3DX profile. So again, big thanks to Enoch, the Relusion team, and again, thanks for Move AI for really taking that feedback that I gave to them. With that being said, this right here, I don't have to now go to Unreal Engine just to export UE4 Mannequin Skeleton. I can just go straight to iClone because, as you all know, I use iClone for a lot of things. Okay, so it looks like our calibration is finished, so we're good to go. So let's go ahead and start a take. So if I scroll down right here, you're going to see take. Go ahead and click on this. And again, we're going to need some information from the take. So I will take a look at take three. And again, I want to find some information. Basically, I need to know what's going on. T-pose right there. Ooh, nope. Okay, so not, let's not do that one. Let's do take two. Let's just do take two real quick. I'm going to press play. And uh, here's the clapper right here. Oh, nope, that was a pre-clap. That was a pre-clap. Give me a second. So there's one, five, six. So our claps are five and six. And now let's take a look at my T-pose. T-pose starts about 15 seconds. And then what I'll do, I'll just have it stop maybe at two minutes and 15 seconds. All right, so five and six, and then 15 for the T-pose. Let's just go 14 for the T-pose and then 216. So I'm going to go ahead and go to camera two, select take two. Camera three, select take two. Camera four, select take two. Save it. And now we have all of the take twos. I'll confirm it. And then I'm just going to say scene name. We're going to do take two here. And I'm just going to repeat it. Actor number one is only me. Prop type, we don't have any. And then for the auto sync video, I'm going to say zero minutes, zero five, zero minutes, zero six. And then for the actual start time, I'm going to go with 0, 15. And then the end time, I'm going to put as 2, 15. All right? Or let's just go with 14. I'm still in the T-post then. All right. After that, let's go ahead and press save. All right. So what's going to happen now is we're going to say the calibration. I wanted to use 3 December, the one that we just did. And then fingers, I'm going to have it off. But if you want to, you can try on. And then for the rigs, you can choose now. We have a Move AI rig. UE4 Mannequin, Meta Human, Move AI Female Rig V3. So in my case here, I'm just going to say Move AI Male Rig V3. That's fine. And I'm going to say run. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and let this run for a little bit. And I'll be right back. Okay. So it looks like our take is finished processing. So I'll click on result preview right here. And I'm going to press pause right here. So another quick tip, big thanks to Fred, by the way. If you want your preview to be the camera facing you, just make sure that cam01 is the camera that you are looking at. So as you can see right here, cam1 is actually behind me. So just a quick tip. If you want it in front of you, just make sure you're in front of cam01 in your phones. Additionally, the last tip I'm going to give you is that as you can see here, I actually covered my window with the green screen because lighting is super important with these iPhones. If I didn't put that block right there, if I didn't block that window, I'm going to have all kinds of exposure difference in all of my iPhones. Again, if you can control it, if you can help it, make sure you have a pretty nice even lighting all throughout your scene. That's pretty much it. I can't show you the smoke cap because it's top secret. Hopefully, I can show it to y'all one day. But with that being said, if y'all have any questions, let me know. And I absolutely love some of the Move AI stuff that y'all have been doing. I've been watching some of y'all testing out the Move AI system. I'm enjoying it so far. So go ahead and if you want to share it, go ahead and put it in the comments below and just link it to everybody. Because like I said, there are a lot of y'all out there are actually using the system, which is pretty darn cool. And as far as I know, it's still free to sign up, I think, till next year. But yeah, that's all I got. I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace out.